Hey everyone, I'm Terry G. Thanks a lot for stopping by and watching my video. If you can take a second, can you please subscribe to my channel? I really appreciate it. Again, thanks a lot for stopping by. What I'd like to talk about today is step two in Alcoholics Anonymous. Came to believe that a power greater than ourselves could restore us to sanity. And just to start off a little sidebar, a little disclaimer, this is my opinion on this step, okay? This is only my opinion. This is not an opinion of Alcoholics Anonymous. Okay, so let's get started. First thing I wanna focus on is the whole power greater than ourselves. When I came in to recovery many years ago, a lot of people in the rooms are talking about a higher power, getting a higher power, you need a higher power in order to work this program. And I thought I wasn't getting the program because I couldn't grasp the concept of having a power greater than myself. So it kind of discouraged me a little bit, but not really. I was just happy to be sober and be around people who were like-minded. I actually enjoyed going to 12-step programs at the start. So what I did, instead of getting hung up on this power greater than ourselves, I simply used the group as my higher power. And I found a sponsor in Alcoholics Anonymous that gave me some good orderly direction. And plus the group gave me good orderly direction. And it sort of let me integrate back in with people and get to know people and do a little bit of service work. So the power greater than myself was a group of drunks sitting in a room who for them, you know, who got who got sober, sober over the years, and they've done a good job. And that's what I use as a power greater than myself. So don't worry about the higher power or the God thing. A lot of people get hung up on that when they come into Alcoholics Anonymous. They think it's a religious or, you know, you gotta get God to, to, get, to get sober, but you don't. I didn't realize that until I started, you know, got off it. My sponsor said, don't worry about it. Just use the group and just keep moving forward in the program. And another part I wanna focus on, that was a big, big deal to me, was the word sanity in the step. Return us to sanity. And what are they talking about when they talk about return us to sanity? If they're gonna return us to sanity, we have to first identify with our way is insane. Because how can they return us to sanity if we're not insane when we come to stopping drinking and that's a really good question because i thought for myself you know once i stopped drinking that my sanity would automatically return but it didn't really return i was still pretty crazy and that's the one thing about alcoholics anonymous or addiction in general just stopping the drinking or stopping the addiction does not stop the progression of the addiction itself alcoholism you might have heard it yourself the lism part is the ism part is the way we think our behaviors addiction in general creates a lifestyle behaviors and coping mechanisms in our lives helps us with that that we carry on in our sober life believe it or not addiction or the act of the act of drinking is just a symptom of a greater problem and for most of us when we stop drinking we're pretty crazy. I don't know about you, but I was pretty crazy. I was angry all the time. I couldn't hold a job still. I thought if I quit drinking, life would get a lot better, but it got a lot worse. And I went out to relapse a few times and just thinking that the drug that you're taking or the booze that you're drinking is a, a solution to your stresses in your life, to your relationship problems, to dealing with yourself in the world around us is completely insane and to think that that reaching for that is going to help you is crazy because that is the cycle of addiction right we think that we need the booze we drink the booze to make us feel better and the booze itself makes us feel better temporarily but it creates a whole lot of other problems in our lives so that insanity of that alcoholism behavior does carry on so before we commit, we are going to be brought to sane or whole thinking again. We have to think we're in, we're, we are insane in our lives. And most of us can do that. Just think about it the way you were or the way you are when you stop drinking. Stopping drinking is the easy part. It's getting the sense of ease and comfort 
in your life and getting rid of that irritable discontentment in your life. That's the part of insanity. That's the crazy part of it. In the big book, they talk about the jaywalker and they give an example of insanity. The jaywalker keeps walking out in front of traffic. A few times he's kind of safe. He doesn't get hit by a car. But after, all, after a few times, he starts getting hit by a car. And at the end of it, he breaks his leg. But he continues to do the same behavior. And that's the kind of insanity they talk about that will be cured from or restored from to a sane living is that we'll stop doing the same thing over and over and over again, thinking that we're gonna get the same result. And by saying that, I'm saying that behavior that was brought out of the alcoholism or the active addiction life will slowly disappear as we move forward in the steps. So the, the step itself is preparing you. Came to believe that a power greater than ourselves could restore us to sanity is actually preparing us to move forward in the steps. And that's where we will gain the balance in our lives and the tools and coping skills that we will need in order to move in our lives as a free men and women to cope with life on life's terms. We'll learn those skills. It will return us back to normal. It'll return us back to being sane or thinking whole. We won't think that alcoholism, I mean alcoholism, we won't think that drinking is an option. So if you wanna think that it'll return you back to sanity, we have to say to ourselves, is my thinking, is my behavior insane? The way I'm behaving, is it chaotic? Is it causing difficulty still off the booze? And if you can say that to yourself, you're pretty well getting step two and you're preparing yourself to move forward and get better. Because life does get better in 12 step programs or secular programs or smart recovery, whatever it is. But the thing we need to do is keep an open mind, apply ourselves to these programs that you're in. Mine was Alcoholics Anonymous. Whatever program you're in, a church group, apply yourself, keep an open mind, talk to like-minded people and ask people for advice. But don't get hung up on the whole God thing or the spiritual thing. God for me was just good orderly direction. The group was my higher power. I found a mentor in Alcoholics Anonymous, a sponsor that could help me out and guide me through the landmine of early recovery because there's a lot of issues going on. But life got better. The insanity, the crazy behavior started to dissipate, to go away. And my life became pretty sane and pretty normal. So. Does it work? Sure it does, but we need to give it time. But it's insane to think that whatever's happening in your life, that you think a drink is going to solve that problem. It's not, because every time you drink, you just go back to ground zero. Those opportunities in your sobriety that are stressful, that are hurtful, that make you angry, that, that make you feel discomfort, are all just learning curves. And as you move forward, and use the support of the program that you're in, you will get a handle on your life. You will become whole again. You will become sane. Believe it or not, just by its very nature, alcoholism is a mental illness. It really is. It's right up there with depression, bipolar, all those things, just by its very, very nature, okay? So don't get hung up on the step, the higher power, greater than yourself but understand that the main focus is not so much on the drinking of the insanity, but the way our lives is off the alcohol, the way we are dealing with life off the alcohol, okay? My name is Terry G. This is an alcohol-free life channel where we learn to live sober one day at a time. If you can take a second, can you please smash that like button and subscribe to my channel, okay? Thank you very much. I'll see you next week. God bless. Stay safe, stay silver, and ciao for now.